Hello there, my friend. Welcome to the channel and thank you for watching. Tottenham Hotspurs 2, West Ham United 3. And the banter start right now. And remember, this was just a friendly game in Australia. What a comeback that was going to be for Big Angie. Angel Postecoglou almost did the magic because they were losing 2 0 and they went 2 2. And I was thinking myself, this is it. Big Angie is going to do it. But Moisey, with his experience, and the team who just won European Cup is something else. They have the winning spirit, even though the team is not the same. Declan Rice is gone, and also they just started the preseason. But you can tell that they still have the winning spirit. Danny Ings for the Hammers, 18 minutes. Divine Mubama, 23 minutes. And Gianluca Skamaka, 78th minute for West Ham. And for Tottenham Hospers, Giovanni Lecelso, 68th minute. Destiny Uguji, 71 minute. Now let's see the lineups here. You can tell for Tottenham Hospers, they had Vicario, the new goalkeeper, Poro. Romero, Tanganga, Regulan, Skip, Bisuma, Kuluseski, Madison, Solomon, and Hurricane in front. And for the Hammers, they had Fabianski, Ogbona, Zuma, Lang, Emerson Palmieri, Fornals, Downs, Pot, Bowen, Mubama Ings. So very solid teams here. And some of them had few minutes because this is just preseason. Like I said, you don't want to play uh, 90 minutes for your players. You're going to break them down and a big risk of injuries and all the good stuff. Let's now go to some statistics here. Tottenham Hospers had 30 shot. That tells you the intent. And I'm telling you right now, Tottenham Hospers fans, you don't have to worry. Because it might get worse before it gets better. By the end of the day, you can see what this brother is trying to do. They are shooting more. When was the last time they have they had even attempt to shot of 30? No, you can see what they are trying to do. But it's not almost always easy to take a brand new team and then make them win immediately. So Postecoglou and Pochettino have really very hard, tough jobs because they're going to make a lot of changes. Changing from a different system and also different players, it's going to take really time. And look at them. Look at uh, Tottenham, uh, West Ham United. Very efficient. They had four shot four shot all together and all four were on target wow all of them were on target and they scored three goals only one probably the goalkeeper saved and look at uh tottenham hospitals on target they had 12 and they only scored two goals that tells you sometimes statistics means nothing the end of the day depend on the quality of the shot depending on the position that where you were in depending on the goalkeeper and many other aspect look at ball possession 71 possession for tottenham hospice 29 percent so the premier league are warned because big edge is going to keep the ball they're gonna dominate the ball and passes look at the pass completion here oh my lord pass accuracy for tottenham hospice was 91 percent so the end of the day it's about winning you know a win is a win congratulations to david moise and west ham united 
because nobody is gonna remember all these big statistics at the end of the day but all i can say is tottenham hospice fans don't worry don't worry at all because football is back football is back even if you don't win anything even if it's gonna be spursy again as people are bantering online but you are sure to have beautiful football and also development of players players are gonna get developed and at some point if Ange can't do it somebody else can come and find already a foundation a very good team already there and take them to the next level Moyes wow he's been disrespected by pretty much everybody but now he's showing people that he is the man